Hello Leo, welcome to your reading for July. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. All right, Leo, I am primarily a love reader. That's what I'm going to focus on. If anything else pops up, I will address it, of course. And if this reading does indeed resonate with you, then any interaction with it, whether it's a like or a comment or a subscribe, will not only help my channel grow, it's going to add your energy to the collective pool and just make it easier for me to read for everyone just a little bit better. All right, I'm going to freestyle your tarot spread, starting off with some oracle cards. We have mouse spirit, tend to the small things. Who else got this? Ah, I do not remember. But a sign before you got this. Now, I will crack open the book because this is still a new deck for me. Just to go a little deeper. Release your blocks. First quarter moon in Scorpio. Intense energy. All right. Let's see. We have number 40. It says... The humble mouse pays attention to the small details and mouse spirit calls on you to notice the nuances and the fine print at this time. In your eagerness to meet your goals and pursue your dreams, it is easy to forget the importance of clear communication and tending to the little things, including people's subtle signs that they are unhappy, as well as the small voice inside of you that says, this doesn't feel right. Take your time to sniff out what you need to know. Is there some detail or nuance about how you engage others or operate in the world that is key to your success, but you've too readily dismissed as nothing big or nothing special? <clears throat> Mouse spirit <clears throat> reminds you that what seems small may be more important and powerful than you think. So look again. Do not underestimate yourself or your potential for co-creating something amazing when you pay attention to the details. It's interesting that this has shown up because this is in complete contrast to your inherent characteristics, your character traits, your personality as a Leo, right? You cannot compare a lion to a mouse. You were born to shine, Leo, and I always say this. Uh, I don't have too many Leo friends, to be honest. I have a few who I love dearly. But it's almost like their personalities are, need to be bigger, right? Because you're such wonderful people. Your hearts are so big. You rule the fifth house, which is the house of creativity and play and fun and romance, right? You also rule the heart chakra. So it, it's almost like you need to be bigger. There's something about you that inherently needs to be bigger. You were born to be in the spotlight. So I feel like tending to the small things is going to help you get to that benchmark. Does that make sense? Um, and when it comes to release your blocks, that speaks for itself. Did you see that? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it because it's a very, very powerful card. The Wheel of Fortune, the universe orchestrating something for you, dear Leo. You're underestimating yourself. You're underestimating the script of your life. Some of us get very caught up in the mundane day to day, you know, and we forget to see the bigger picture. It's funny how <clears throat> this card talks about tending to the small things, but for me, it's more about looking at the bigger picture. The Queen of Swords, asking for the truth about something, being very clear, being very direct, creating boundaries when required. Why am I feeling like someone's blocking your shine? Someone's blocking your shine. The Ten of Cups, that's a happily ever after. Your cards, I really want to talk today. We have the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Cups, two threes. And the Chariot, beautiful energy, Cancer energy. 
Let me get your supporting cards and we'll clarify right away. This reading is throwing me off. We have Pisces energy with the hanged man. <coughs> Ten of Swords. Something is blocking your shine. This is rock bottom. It's almost like you need to get here before you can bounce back into this Ten of Cups energy. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Swords. Movement that wants to happen, but there's stagnation. There is stagnation because there was an ending that hasn't been processed movement wants to happen the truth wants to be spoken the wheel wants to turn but there are too many people here i don't like that three of cups three of pentacles release your blocks sorry i'm just processing everything the hanged man is a card of releasing blocks if you think about it it is a very stagnant energy if you if you look at the physicality of it because the hangman isn't moving right there's there's no movement but there's a lot of work happening in the crown chakra there's a lot of work happening internally mentally and emotionally let's clarify why is the wheel of fortune here seven of wands I'm getting a very similar energy from you that I got from Aries. It's, it's like things want to happen for you. The universe wants to work in your favor. But it's almost like you're telling yourself that you're going to do all of this by yourself. You're going to make whatever this is happen by yourself. But the problem is you're operating from this mindset from the Ten of Swords mindset. And one doesn't get to the Ten of Cups while being in the Ten of Swords energy. There's a blockage here. Blockage. You're inadvertently, unconsciously <clears throat> blocking your blessings. I thought someone else was blocking your blessings, but I think it's you. And I'm an honest reader. I will not sugarcoat things. Let's move further. Let's see what this is about. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Queen to the King of Swords. Whoever it is you're dealing with, Leo, they're mirroring your energy. You know how compromise is necessary in every relationship. If one person is being a mule, <laughs> being stubborn, the other person needs to compromise. If one person is angry, the other person needs to cool down a little bit to neutralize the situation. But I feel like whatever attitude you are bringing forth to the table, let's just say um, you blocked someone. Okay, I'm getting tit for tat. You, then you unblock that person because you actually want to have this conversation with them. But the minute you do, they block you in return. That, I'm getting pettiness. Block. Why? I keep saying block. I don't. I wasn't even looking at your oracle card. There's a blockage here. Things are not moving, and they want to look at the movement here with the chariot and the knight of swords. Let's go deeper. Why is the ten of cups here? The page of pentacles. There could be children involved here. If not, then whoever is younger in this situation is acting a lot more immaturely than you would realize there's a lot to learn here it's like whoever this is they want to get to this happily ever after but they're not trained enough to get to it they're not trained enough to retain these blessings it's like catching smoke it's just gonna puff away heightened spirituality is needed heightened awareness is needed Let me get one more card here. There's there's an immaturity here that I don't like. The Three of Cups. I don't know if this is you or this is the person you're dealing with, but someone has allowed too many cooks to plague the kitchen. There are too many people here. 
whether these are romantic third parties or it's family interfering or friends interfering or whatever too many people are fluctuating the frequency of this relationship too much confusion too much time being wasted the only two frequencies that are needed here are you and your person so you can give each other the closure that you need and start afresh if, if, if required. But the too many speed bumps. Whoever these people are, they're speed bumps for this chariot. Why is the three of cups here? Strength, Leo energy, there you are. I'm getting that you need to only surround yourself with people who bring out the best in you, right? I'm not talking about sycophants. I'm not talking about yes mans or yes women. I'm talking about people who are your strength friends, families, whoever these people are, not people who cause roadblocks. Three of Pentacles again. You see how many people there are here. It's wild. Eight of Swords and the Devil. I knew I was getting a bad energy from this. If you are taking advice from people who don't have your best interest at heart, your reality is going to manifest into something that you don't like. Not everybody has good intentions, Leo. Keep that in mind. Something flipped over. Would you look at what flipped over? The lovers and the knight of swords. Movement wants to happen. This love wants to be expressed. But there are speed bumps. There are blockages. Feel like you're both getting bad advice. I'm just going to put that out there. Why is the three of pentacles here? The two of pentacles. People are keeping you stuck. Listen to your own voice. Listen to your own intuition. Why is the chariot here? Five of swords. The star, king of wands, the empress, ten of pentacles, queen of wands. I feel like you guys are looking for a shortcut. There's deep healing that needs to take place here. Because if the ten of swords is one of the supporting pillars of your reading, there needs to be a timeout. There needs to be almost a restructuring of your own inner psyche. Movement wants to happen, yes. But slowing down needs to happen first. That's the blockage. The blockage is that you want to move when you're not ready to move. This is a very vague reading, but I'm doing the best I can. This stagnation needs to happen so you both can learn. The Ten of Swords is karmic lessons. This is ten pieces of information if you have to look at it literally. Swords in the tarot represent information, knowledge, the mind. That's ten of those swords. That's, that's an overload of information. Has it been processed? Either two things can happen here. Either you're trying to brush things under the rug and restart whatever this is without acknowledging what happened in the past, without addressing all the drama, without addressing the problems, you'll just end up repeating them because you're not addressing them. Or you're just trying to move on from this without addressing the triggers, without addressing the pain. Some of you may just be getting back into the, into the dating pool that could be a possibility as well with, with so many threes showing up. It's like you're not giving yourself time to process things. Why is the hanged man here? The queen of swords. <clears throat> and judgment. Interesting. I'm getting heightened spirituality. We have the Queen of Swords twice. I'm going to show you the larger card to explain this. A lot of people don't know this, but the Queen of Swords is a highly spiritual queen, right? Don't fixate on the gender. There's no gender in tarot. 
you see that rosary around her wrist that indicates her spirituality and she is the queen of truth judgment is a card of an awakening it is a card of the truth this crown chakra that's going to be lit up is going to cause this aha moment within the both of you i'm getting almost like this neptunian energy of wearing rose colored glasses and letting bygones be bygones but when there's a deep soul tie in it, at play bygones cannot be bygones things need to be addressed that's the only way this aha moment can happen and that reset button can be pressed an honest adult conversation is required not just with each other but truly with your own selves quiet your mind and talk to yourself there's too much chatter here too many variables the only constant in your life is you leo remember that your opinion is valued much higher than anybody else's why is the ten of swords here exactly the two of wands this wand has served its purpose it's been mastered it's been accomplished that is the only way this fellow can take a step forward with that world in his hands and start something brand new for himself but i feel like this wand to the right for you has not served its purpose just yet the chariot again wow with the 8 of cups and the 2 of cups <clears throat> i'm getting an ecg graph of a very unhealthy patient the highs are too high the lows are too low it's it's just chaos i'm missing the temperance card i really wish it was here i needed to see it there there's too much energy and it's being it's being misused that energy and drive that you have i feel like it's just putting you in your head it's not being used constructively I'm going to get another card. I haven't done this for any other sign but the emperor mastery. I'm getting that you guys need to stop operating from a place of pride and ego both of you if there are any cross watchers watching. And there has to be <clears throat> almost this shift to communicating with your higher self instead of with your ego. and that's when this new beginning can come about don't tell yourselves that it's water under the bridge there's too much water under the bridge there's no such thing address whatever this is with yourselves and with your partner talk about it release your blocks tend to the small things tend to the nitty gritties have those petty fights have those petty conflicts have those petty arguments but address them that's the only way you can move forward and have this new beginning all right very vague reading i'm sorry leo but that's the best i could do that was it i hope this helped i will see you in the next one bye bye